Welcome to the Reed Branch. Today, we're gonna to do a little dual slalom. We're also gonna speak with Nature Trails, a local trail building company that's done some work here. Here we are with Slowey from uh, Cane Creek. Let's give it a rundown of the race that's happening today. Yeah, man, so this is the 2019 Dual Slalom Challenge here at the Oscar Blues Reed Branch. This is our first year of uh, doing a three-part series. So this is race number one. We've got two more coming up. One next month in October, then the following at the Cranksgiving Paris Mountain Downhill Finals. It's going to be a really cool one. We added all these crazy grass corners. The track's running really fast, so it's getting a little bit dynamic, you know, BMX style, old school corners. So we'll see uh, how it all hands out. So did you realize there's like a little pig in the back of this car over here? What's the deal with that? I don't know, but I'm gonna go pet that pig. What do you think? Pet that pig. I'm gonna pet that pig. Here's a pet pig. pig. Look, it's right over there. Who are you? Tilden. Tilden? Mm -hmm. Look this at is this. Heidi. Oh, hello. Hello. Look at your nose. Look at your little feet. Oh, back to my mama. Leave me alone. Oh. How long have you had the pig? A couple days. Okay, so what is tell us about this? What kind of pig is this? I have no clue. Okay, you just just found a pig, threw it in the car, and here you are. My friend brought me a pig. Okay, I think I think that's a good enough answer. Just roll with it. Is it gonna be a big pig, or you don't even know? We don't know. Like a surprise. I like that. So I support your choices. I hope your husband enjoys bringing home random pigs. No, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to hold this pig. All right, here you hold the camera. Okay. You hold the pig. So what does the pig do? Like the pig just kind of just chills and sleeps? And sleeps, eats, just, poops. It just acts like a dog pretty much is what mm -hmm. it says? It sleeps inside in the bed. Okay. Good to look. Oh yeah, just hangs out with the dogs. Sleeping, in your nose. I've never even touched a little pig nose before. What's up, Steady? What's up, man? All right, no turning back. Let's hop up on the start gate and put down some runs. Uh, Ryan is ready. Watch the gate. Oh! I'm going for slowest time, guys. Watch the gate. Oh, boy. Look at this. All right, I want a fair fight, boys. That's right. Poke them in the eyes. <laughs> it ain't fair to you ass. We can't lean on the gate. Riders ready? Watch the gate. No denying, I neglect my bike. All these noises looks like I'm gonna have to take it to the bike shop. Hope it only cost me a couple hundred bucks. Well, just got blown out the first round. Probably shouldn't have entered the open class. Next time I'll probably go for sport. I'm Still out. had a good time. <laughs> Let's go and slide over to these podiums, see how everybody did, and then head to the bike shop. So we have new cranks. These, should these hold up pretty well? Or were... They're gonna hold up as well as your last ones did, until you break them. How bad was the bend and twist in those? They weren't too bad, was it? It wasn't too bad, but I'm sure your ankle might hurt. Yeah, um, derailleur? How bad was the derailleur? What's, so which, which part's the bad part? This part right here, the knuckle. The knuckle? Okay, so what was wrong with the knuckle? It's no longer straight, it's crooked. So we have a new derailleur, new derailleur cable, we had some new sealant in the rear. I think we should be pretty good to go check out the new Avery. What do you think? I think it'd be I. Right. It'd be I. Right. Yeah. 
new cranks, new pedals. There's a shifter cable inside of one of these things over here. All right, what do you find in there? What do you find in there? Dry. What's dry? Wipers. So they're just complete. Are they supposed? To, they're supposed to be wet. Should be damp or something. Filled with oil. So, oh, it should be sopping wet, huh? So. Oh wow. Okay, so they're super dry. Okay. So it's a little like a rubber band. That's a dry rubber band. The like old foam band. Like old, like like old money rubber band. <laughs> old money band. Old money bands. So those are all trash. trash. You know what the inside of your shock looks like, guys? Looks like that. Yeah. In need of service, one to ten, where were we at? Ten being the worst, we're around. We were around. Oh, look at all the stuff you just put on here. Which one is it? Are these the right parts? What is he doing? <laughs> I don't even know where the total is accumulated at. Look, it just keeps on growing. 325. Um, oh my God. Matt Malone. I'm the owner of Nature Trails, based here in North Carolina. We are a uh, recreational trails construction company. We uh, design and build, hike, bike, any kind of uh, recreational trail to get people outside. I say our mission is to get people outdoors no matter what their mode of transportation is. We're all mountain bikers, you know, by our hobby, but we are passionate about hiking, equestrian, whatever the case is, you know, that as long as it gets you outdoors. So I've been in trail design and construction um, for about 12 years in all different capacities and moved to North Carolina in 2016. And so this business is, uh, is about three years. And well, I mean, I think progression is the biggest thing you can provide to get more people riding. There needs to be something approachable for people to expand their skill set without um, feeling like they're, you know, going over their head, jumping in too deep with um, really difficult trails or uh, jumps, whatever the case is, you know, whether it's going really, really high off the ground, going over gaps, anything like that. So we try to build things that are tiered so that people can graduate from one level to the next. Mm -hmm. On this particular uh, build, we're, we're, there are some transfer options, but we're not uh, specifically focused on any of those. They're kind of left to the more advanced riders here we're not trying to make them obvious yeah for sure all right um so who do you have with you here's this uh who's this character over here crew foreman uh kind of manages equipment and making sure everything is done uh my name's david danley uh, i've been working for nature trails for uh, a little over two years now been digging trails and building bike related whatever you can think of since as long as I can remember it started out as sketchy plywood and cinder block ramps when I was three and four and learned a little bit since then I guess uh, my my professional work background is, has been more so in grading landscaping a lot of machine work um, mm. I, I've got a pretty good attention to detail for finished work um, sometimes I spend a little more time on trying to get stuff perfect than Matt would always like, but uh, I, I'm kind of a perfectionist in that aspect. Look, like you perfected that beard pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I think I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. This thing is real. In real life, it's like a foot long. It's got a real half a Bojangles biscuit. Yeah. Check out these videos right here, or maybe the ones over here, or maybe subscribe here, or check out my Patreon over there. Don't touch the brakes. Pedal a little harder, and we'll see you on the next adventure.